Hello everyone, uh, just making this video because I, I read online a lot of people are having problems with their enricher and uh, the problem that they're having is that the enricher is allowing too much fuel into the, uh, the intake part of the carburetor when it's cold causing the idle to to be a lot higher than than what's actually desired I know in this particular carburetor I was having the same problem and uh, I was getting uh, RPMs up to about 3100 now you know I mean for warming up an engine that is kinda high but the problem comes when uh, when the clutch engages around 2500 so the scooter wanted to take off while it was warming up so I would have to literally stand there with my hands on the brake for two or three minutes until the engine warmed up which was a big hassle uh, I think I have a solution see this little tube right here uh, this is connected right down here into the enricher system and uh, now I couldn't find any other way to uh, adjust the enricher itself or any part down in here to control it and uh, which was really a bummer they they really should put some sort of control mechanism in here like like right about here where this little tube is they should have had like a a mixer screw but they don't uh, so what I ended up doing is I took a uh, a pair of pliers and I didn't take the plier part but the cutter part which is kind of dull on this one and I kind of pinched it I don't know if you can see right here I pinched it here on one side you could choose either side and if you could probably see the flashlight on there there's still a slight gradual hole there on one side uh, this side right here there's a slight hole the rest is pinched off now I didn't use any kind of sealant so when I pinched it off, I had to keep taking the carburetor off, waiting for it to get cold, starting it back up, and then finding out where the idle was. When I initially did this, uh, where, the way it is right now, it was uh, starting up at about uh, 2700 RPM. And that, that still wanted to take off a little bit, but I knew it was going to slow down. And the, the, the reason for that is because... Even though it's pinched off in this area right here, except for that that one corner, uh, as time goes on, it's gonna it's gonna get uh, clogged up, much like your uh, your jets do, you know, like your slow idle, uh, your slow uh, uh, your slow jets for for your for your idling. Uh, it gets clogged up. This one, you know, especially when you're running a 50 cc, which is the one that that came out of this one. Uh, 50 cc uh, where I'm at wants a 30 number 30 I could I could put a number 31 in there because the 30 just clogs up way too much and the 31 I have to take it out every so often and, and blow it out I have to burn it and blow it out and clean it with some carb cleaner and uh, so this hole is much much smaller than that and I don't got no drill bit to you know if I did pinch it off to re-drill it now, as this clogs up, uh, that hole might actually be too small, okay? Uh, so, I think after about two or three days, uh, the, the uh, startup uh, RPM on it dropped down to like 25. Currently, right now, I'm sitting at 2100 RPM, which is just great. Uh, but I might want to step it up a little bit more. And I know it's going to clog up just a little bit because it's just been about two or three weeks since I pinched this off. And the experiment worked. And uh, if that ever happens, where you find out that you're starting it up and the uh, the startup RPM is just too low, it's, it, it's dying on you, what you do is you take it and the end that, that has the hole, you're just going to file it a little bit and then clean it out with some carburetor cleaner. So you don't, you don't feed the the brass uh, particles into your engine and uh, you gotta think a, a step ahead too as you can see I pinched this in the direction of the base here see that hole down there at the base and uh, 
it fits right here in this hole too. So I was, if it does get, oh gosh, I'm leaking gas now. Get out my place here. No smoking. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, if if this does start to get caught up because you pinched it and it, it it's just just too wide now for that hole, you just have to take the file and uh, file off the edges here, not the top part because that'll increase the hole size, but just the sides here until it slides in. And uh, yeah, I'm at about 2100 RPM after three weeks. And I'm thinking about filing it, and that's exactly why I got the file out. And uh, I'm just making this video just to share it with others out there. If you have a better idea on how to control the RPM, you know, during startup, because I notice a lot of people are are trying to put like manual chokes in there and stuff like that. And <laughs> and if your if your scooter is uh, encased in plastic, like a lot of the Chinese are. You can't even get a hand down in there, even if you had a manual choke. Um, that, then you're just kind of, you know, out of luck. But uh, trying to use the enricher the way it was supposed to and have some means of adjusting the RPM, you know, like this right here, uh, th this might be the way to go. I don't know. You, you might want to think about it. Anyway, just wanted to share that. Thank you for watching.